What's up guys, it's everyone's favorite Campy T here, and today I'm going to go over what I am doing to get myself ready for the Quantified Performance Match at Arena Training Facility this weekend. Uh, I'm going to zero slash confirm zero on my primary uh, rifle and also my backup rifle in case something happens to my primary um, using the same ammunition uh, and I am also going to grab some velocity data. Um, beyond that, that's, that's really all I do is, is, you know, I, I get my things ready, you know, pack my clothes, um, as far as like gear goes, uh, what I would take if I wasn't handy crippable is I would probably just take like a squeeze bag or a, or a couple different kinds of squeeze bag, um, like a pint size game changer. Um, I've used a lot of different kinds of bags over the years. Um, now I have on some stages I have the um, they have allowed me to use a tripod uh, whenever there are stages that require me to get down lower than I can get with my prosthetic. So I've posted multiple videos about quantified performance before uh, so I'm not going to go into all that stuff but what I will say is that what I'm bringing is I'm going to bring three different squeeze bags so I'm going to bring the pillow, the Armageddon Gear pillow. Um, I'm going to bring an Armageddon Gear pint size game changer. And I'm going to be bring a War Horse Development flat bag. Um, the War Horse Development flat bag is the bag that I've used the most in competition over the years. Um, but this way I have a variety depending on what the uh, stages end up looking like. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to bring my carbon fiber tripod that is specific for... Um, Arca rail, which my uh, um, primary rifle has that, but my secondary rifle does not have a Arca rail on it. So, worst case scenario though, I can just throw a bag on top of it and shoot it like that with the secondary rifle if the primary rifle goes down. I will probably bring five 20 round magazines, even though I usually don't even complete one mag um, before the end of a stage. I usually time out before I can uh, before I run through 20 rounds. Um, but usually on my battle belt I will have two mags depending on what the stage is looking like because there aren't that many targets in quantified performance matches. There are usually like five targets and you usually only have to engage those five targets once or twice so I feel like if you need 40 rounds plus to hit those five targets, maybe you're doing something wrong or maybe something's wrong with your equipment or something. Something's not right there. Also, the match is in Georgia, so it is hotter than the devil's ass crack. So, you know, I'm going to tell a lot of people to drink water. Um, me personally, I'm going to drink a lot of energy drinks because that way I'll have the energy to stay awake instead of pass out. It's just science. You're, if you're going to Blakely, Georgia, you need to keep in mind, one, everyone is rude as shit in Blakely, Georgia, except for the people that are involved with quantified performance. Um, going into town, the town shuts down after 9 p.m., so... Uh, plan accordingly uh, for that as well. You might want to bring your own food. Uh, me personally, I make sure to stock up on booze, cigars, and nose nachos before I get into Georgia. Uh, I'll typically bring about 200 rounds to a one-day uh, quantified performance match. One, you don't actually have to worry about really the weight of the ammunition because you're hauling it in a vehicle. Um, if this was like Mammoth or some of the sniper matches I've shot in the past, then you sort of start to worry about the weight of the ammunition and, you know, wear and tear on your legs and how fast you're going to get to the finish line and stuff like that. But with quantified performance, you don't have to worry about stuff like that. So you, it just makes sense to bring extra ammo, you know, like you, it might be, you know, a hundred rounds to clear the, the whole match, but you might only shoot, you know, 80 because you don't get an opportunity to shoot some of the other ones. Or you might go full belt fed on some of the targets and dump 
50, 60 rounds on one stage. So plan according to your shooting style. I hope this video helped you guys out. Now I'm going to show you guys the footage of me grabbing velocity data and confirming zero and zeroing um, the rifles that I intend on using this weekend. Okay, so at this point I have my rifle out here. This is the Campia T rifle, 20 inch barrel. I took the 5 to 25 Strike Eagle off and put a 4 to 14 primary arms on it. Um, and it is not zeroed currently, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero the scope and in the process of zeroing it I have my lab radar set up and I'll be grabbing velocity data at the same time so I will be both confirming zero and getting velocity data on this rifle now I like to take two rifles that will fit in the same class um, whenever I go shoot uh, any match really um, I like to take two similar rifles, so I've got this 20 inch 5.56 here, and then I've got another 20 inch 5.56 that I'm going to do the same thing for. I'm going to confirm zero and velocity, and that way I'll have good numbers for two different guns in case one of my guns goes down. The ammunition that I'm using currently is LMMG 77 grain. I chose this ammunition over the 75 grain AAC ammo only because I've run the 75 grain AAC in the last two matches that I've shot and I'm running low. So this was the next best thing as far as the types of ammo that I have. Um, I prefer the 75 grain Hornady over the 77 grain Sierra Match King just because it has a higher BC but that's what these are loaded with, the 77 grain Sierra Match King. And based on the velocity data that I've grabbed from this ammo before, this is my next best option. So I'm going to um, zero the scope, get some velocity data, and uh, then I'm gonna do it with the next gun. My average velocity was 2893, which is smoking for a 77 grain Sierra Match King out of a 20 inch barrel. Um, my highest was 2926, my low was 2870. Extreme spread 56, standard deviation 19. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna confirm zero with my other 20 inch rifle, my backup rifle. I'm gonna confirm zero and gather velocity data with the same ammunition. So my average velocity was twenty eight thirty four. My high was 2848 and my low was 2828. My extreme spread was 21 and my standard deviation was 8.5. Wow. I have a lot of rounds through this gun. I have a lot of time behind this gun. I've shot, I couldn't tell you how many matches with this one. So it, it holds a, a, a special place in my heart this gun for it to have not been you know a crazy expensive gun you know I used a primary arms R grid scope which was the original R grid now they now they don't even offer it now it's the R grid 2B it's still got that scope on it um, it was a PSA parts kit and I just put a 20 inch black hole weaponry barrel on it and started shooting it in competition and man it is it's never let me down it's uh, it's always been you know a trooper. Um, since the accident, I have uh, I have put a bad lever on it, which I know bad levers are you know whatever. But I have some issues 
um, with this hand here. So hitting the uh, the bolt release sometimes doesn't work out too well for me since I'm missing fingers. Um, but yeah, th this gun, it it just it just it fucks. This gun just absolutely fucks.